Biological Approach, Dement and Kleitman, 1957. An objective method for the study of dreaming the relation of eye movements during sleep to dream activity. While investigating the topics of sleep and dreaming have been difficult throughout the times because of factors such as no communication with the researcher and thus no control over what becomes of the data. This is evident as the only way to actually collect data is self-reports, but these have hindered validity due to them being merely anecdotal evidence and highly subjective. The study became more scientifically rigorous with new inventions and innovations of physiological techniques that measure brain activity that indicates that dreaming is happening and allowed the electrical documentation of eye movements rather than their direct observation. These techniques were utilized by Dement and Kleitman to track and monitor the cyclical changes that happen in brain activity and eye movements during a sleep period in a night. It was in 1955 that the usage of an electroencephalograph was applied to record brain activity and eye movements that showed that we have several stages during the night where we alternate between REM, rapid eye movement, and NREM, non-rapid eye movement. It was reported that participants waking up from a REM sleep were more likely to report a vivid, visually visceral dream as compared to waking up in different stages. This device, an EEG machine, detects and records minuscule electrical charges associated with nerve and muscle activity. THEG machine produces a chart that shows changes, brain waves in the chart record to indicate the sleep stage a person is in. These change with the frequency and amplitude of electrical output from the brain over time. An EEG can also be used to detect activity in the muscles that move the eyes, measuring eye movements. EEG patterns in REM sleep are low voltage, high amplitude waves. Whereas in NREM sleep has either high voltage or slow waves or sometimes what is commonly known as sleep spindles, which are short-lived high-frequency waves. The EEG electrodes slash machines can also be used to record eye movements. The input is however called an electrooculogram indicates the presence or absence of eye patterns, cycles and movements. Factors to consider are size, direction, duration, etc.